So what I'm going to do is show you how to take a template of a document library firstly with the structure but then uh, also with the data. So you may be able to use that for migrations or moving between sites. But So what we need to start off with, we need to go to our uh, already existing document library. So I've got an existing document library here and you'll notice that I have already modified it to include some uh, additional metadata which is in a field here called customer. So I've got some data and it has been slightly customized. Now what I'm going to do is create a template of this. Now to do that I need to go up to the library tab up in the top left shoot across to library settings, select that and then what we'll find is there's an option here to save the document library as a template so I will select that and then what I need to do is I need to give it a file name so again it's able to be able to download it and then move between sites so in this case I'm going to call it uh, doc-lib and I'll just make this structure so we're just going to bring the structure across what I'm going to call this is doclib and I will then call that structure only. So what that's going to bring across is basically the columns, the other information about the list um, and you'll see that I have the option here to include the content but for this uh, I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is just go OK there and that will then uh, create a uh, template for me based on the structure of that document library. If I now go to my list gallery what we will see is you'll see that this is the new one that I have just created. Now if I want to download that and maybe put it on another machine or another SharePoint site I simply click on it and you'll see that I'm able to download a .stp file which I can then upload to a, another SharePoint site. It's obviously got to be 2013 and then I can also use that. But in this case I'm not going to do that. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to basically go back and I'm actually going to create a second template but the difference here is is what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it again doc lib but I'm going to call it content so this is going to actually have all the content in there so again I'll call this doc lib but I will call this full content now to include all the content in this case all the files in the document library what I need to do is to check this box down here called include content go OK and again it'll take a little bit longer because it's obviously got to package up all the files and data and then upload that into a single STP or template file and then it will place it into the document library. So again we see our doclib structure and we now see our doclib content. So remember the one with content has all the data as well. So now how do we use this? So what we need to do now is is that we now need to create a new list uh, based on one of these templates. So the way that we do that is the way we always do it. We go into site contents, we go into here to add an app and what we should see here is that in our list of all the applications that we have available to us, so if we scroll through our list here we should be able to find the ones that we just created uh, and then we can then create a new document library based on that template which we have um, just created. So we may need to go a few pages in uh, to find it. So what you'll see over here now is I have the doclib structure only and I have the doclib uh, full content here on the last page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new document library here based on purely structure. So I'm going to call this new library and just go create and that will then create a new document library with the same structure. So here it is. Click on that to view it and you'll see that this is exactly the same structure as we had before but it has no data. So the name modified but you'll notice that I get my custom column here called customer. Now if I want to create a library that actually includes the content again what I do is I base my um, template uh, based my creation of the list on the template that includes the content. So just need to go over to the last page or the third page here and I will in this case select doclib full content. So if I select that I'm going to call this new library but I'm going to kind of that, call that doc so I can see that it is different. So then I go create and you'll see that again it creates a document library based on that structure but in this case 
because the document library included, the template included te um, data, you'll see now this new library dash docs not only has the fields, it has exactly the same data as my original document library. So again, nice and easy, quick way to create a template um, of a list or a library or pretty much anything in SharePoint is you go to the source, go up to the library tab, go across the library settings, and then you'll find the option to save the document library or item as a template. Give it a file name, a template name, so it will be displayed in the list, and then you can elect to include the content, um, which will include the structure and all the data in the list at that point in time, or you can just include the structure, which is what it is by default. Now, once you've done that, it will end up in what's known as the template, li template library, and then when you go into the site contents and you want to create an app, you'll find that the item, the template that you just created, will be in this site contents, uh, site, the applications here, and you'll then be able to create a new library based on the templates that you've created. So in a nutshell, it's really that simple to go in and take an existing list or item or pretty much anything in SharePoint and then create a template that does and may also include not only the structure, but also the content of that item. And then you can apply that not only to the site that you created it on, but you can then export that as a file, import it to another SharePoint location, and then use that um, to create items in that SharePoint site. So again, nice and easy to work with, very easy to um, move data and also the structure between SharePoint sites. So I thank you very much for watching.